Well, good morning. As we begin our devotions this morning, let's pray together. Stop. Whatever the business, business of the day is going to be in your mind, stop. And pray. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Lord, as we read your word, may we know you speaking. Stop. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in you, our Heavenly Father. In you, Lord Jesus, our Saviour. In you, Holy Spirit, our friend. Holy, holy, holy God. As we read your word, may we hear your voice. Stop. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. As we read your word, may you, Lord, find us listening. Amen. There were two sons, and Dad went to his sons and said to the first one, Son, I need you to go and work out on the farm for me. Yes, Dad, of course I'll go. Dad went to the second son and said, Son, I need you to go and work out on the farm for me. I'm not going, Dad. The first son, who said so willingly he would go, failed to go. The second son, who unwillingly had said, I'm not going, then found it in his heart and realised the best thing he could do was what the father wanted. And so he went. Jesus told that story. And he said, which of the sons, which of the sons was the obedient and willing son? As we read on in Mark chapter 3, we get to the part when in Mark chapter 3 and verse 31, Jesus is told that his mother and his brothers and sisters, his family have come to be with him. You may not have thought much about Jesus having mothers and brothers and sisters, but we're told that he had four brothers and sisters. And uh, you can read about that in Mark chapter six. But Jesus is told that and then says, and who are my mother and brothers and sisters? leaving that question hanging in his air, in the air, because everybody thought, well, he's going to go and be with them. They've come to see him. He's going to be with them. But he asks the question. And then he gives the answer. He says, whoever does the will of my father, he or she is my mother and brother and sister. In other words, part of us being in the family of God means that we do the will of God. And doing the will of God is a sure sign that we are in the family of God. In the book of Psalms, the psalmist uh, writes a wonderful psalm um, in Psalm 40 when he actually says, I delight to do your will, O oh Lord. Not like a reluctant son who kind of says, Dad, I don't want to do your will. Or a son who says, yeah, I'll do your will, but then forgets about it. I delight to do your will. If we're in the family, then pleasing the Father, pleasing our Lord Jesus, is something that will be in our hearts. It will be our delight. What are you going to do today? What's on your heart to do today? And have you got eyes and ears open to hear what the Father's will might be? It might be obedience in staying away from things that are wrong for you. That's doing his will. It might be obedience in hearing of somebody's need and being willing to meet it in some way. 
that's his will. It might be obedience in simply stopping and taking time to worship him or read his word or pray. That's doing his will. But his longing is that you do it uh, willingly. Do it with delight in your heart because doing his will is the best thing for you. Have a great day and enjoy doing the will of God. God bless you.